Okay, so today we're looking at solving uh, what we class as a hidden quadratic. So that's where we have an equation um, where we can substitute um, to form a, a standard quadratic equation, which we can then solve. And then we can go back to our substitution and solve for the, for, for the actual equation we started with. So here we're looking to solve 2 sine squared x minus sine x equals 0 uh, in the range 0 degrees to 360 degrees. So the first thing we need to do here is recognise what we're going to use for our substitution. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, let y equal sine x. Now, once I've done that, I can then substitute for sine x equals y into the equation we've been given. And that will leave me with 2y squared minus y equals 0, which is a nice quadratic and we can solve quite easily. It's a simple one to factorise. So we have y, 2y minus 1 equals zero. So that would lead to y equals zero or 2y minus one equals zero, which means that y equals a half. So I've now got my two solutions to my quadratic equation. However, we haven't solved the initial equation because the equation we were asked to solve was two sine squared x minus sine x. So now I'm going to go back to my original substitution so if y equals 0 and y equals sine x, that means that sine x equals 0 or sine x equals a half. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick sketch of the sine curve in the range that I'm interested in. So starts 0 down for 360. So that's the curve I'm interested in. I'm interested in that whole range. So for the first solution, sine x equals zero, where does this graph equal zero? Well, it equals zero here, here, and here. Uh, and they're values that we should know automatically. So that means x equals zero, 180, or 360. Three solutions to this, uh, to, to match in with a sine x equals zero. Now I need to look at where sine x equals a half. So that's here. There are two solutions. And again, these are values that we should know. We should know that sine 30 equals a half. So I'm going to get x equals 30. And because of the symmetry of the curve, if that's 0 to 30, that's 180. Subtract 30. So that value must be 150. So I've got five solutions to this equation here. So for two sine squared x minus sine x equals zero in the range zero to 360 degrees, x could be zero, 180, 360, 30, or 150.